Good morning, healthy people. Hey, healthy people. Happy Thursday, December 6, 2018. Today's journal prompt question is reflect on one of life's, I'm sorry, reflect on one of the greatest life lessons you've learned. What was it and what did you learn? This is really hard for me because I feel everything is such a learning experience. Someone mentioned their gut. Your gut is so powerful. It's your internal compass, your internal map. I learned not to procrastinate. I learned not to, uh, I, I learned that things end up working themselves out even when you're off track and then you get back on track. You just take a delay, you know? Um, and I'm going to write and then I'm going to try to come back to you guys and reflect. Oh, yeah, I kind of like this mask. I did see an improvement. I still have those scars that I was showing you, but I have saw some a lightning. Some lightning are, um, what do you call it? Like fading of the scars. They're getting lighter is what I guess I'm trying to say. Those scars are going away. And I just have skin that scars. I don't know why. I just do. That's just who I am. So. Speak, that, that, what I just said led me right into what I was going to write about. I think my greatest life lesson was learning to accept myself. And um, I hear it all the time. I always hear people say, your greatest gift is like being you. There's no other you, especially in this business world. I hear it all the time. Like, you know, don't try to duplicate anyone else's business. Bring your little twist on who you are as a person. But I think accepting that, right, um, has allowed me to have a level of peace and confidence that I would have never been able to have. It also allows me to bring things to the table that I wouldn't be able to do. Um, I say that because, and I struggle because I'm, I, I, like, if you know me, you know, my mind is all over the place and I, I like, I don't like to, it's not in, on purpose to go against the grain. I just do, you know, I always see those little opposite sides in case I'm an example of this was recently now that my semester is almost over uh you know I teach I'm a professor and I was trying to mimic some other professors because I wanted to go see what they were doing and <clears throat> I thought that I was doing something wrong right I've been doing this for a while now but I still thought I was doing something wrong when I tell you my students checked me quick and in fast and in a hurry, they were like, literally, they stopped me. I was like, what are you doing? I was like, ah, I thought you would like this, this, and this. They were like, actually, we like your class because you don't do X, Y, and Z because you are the different one. And why didn't you ask us? And it was crazy because that day I was struggling. I was fumbling. It took me time to get back on track Um, as far as what I was trying to do. Like... It took me a while because it took a blow. Like, I was off. I felt off. My students felt off. Then I was trying to figure out, like, uh, how do I get back to me? You know? And I think it's hard sometimes. It's it's a it's a beauty in knowing who you are. But sometimes it's hard because you don't really have nobody to co-sign whether you're right or wrong. Because who you are is who you are. There is no right or wrong. <laughs> so knowing who you are, standing in your strength is beautiful. But it also can be lonely. Um... And I say all that to say this, even to the person who mentioned the intuition, it's a catch-22 and I think that's life and that's that balance, right? You have both sides. The other part of me, people always say, you play devil's advocate, but that's life, right? You get both sides on everything. So that's life's greatest lesson I've learned is to be who I am, scars, um, and a whole bunch of other craziness and all. It's part of who I am. It doesn't mean that I'm not willing to change or become a better person. It's just that I know myself and it helps me a lot, you know? All right, guys, wishing you all healthier, happier habits. I will talk to you guys soon.